Minister for Equity, Social Justice and Empowerment, Honorable Joachim Henry, continues to forge ahead with plans to establish a state-of-the-art youth service center that would cater to the pressing needs of St. Lucia's vulnerable youth. The latest intervention occurred last week and saw Minister Henry again on the proposed site for the centre, the former George Charles Secondary School, which has begun being debauched and cleared as part of a significant retrofitting and transformation to becoming the new and modern centre for youth services, inclusive of education and rehabilitation. This time, a broad cross-section of stakeholders comprised of technical experts like the architect, contractor and personnel from human and social service agencies joined Minister Henry. Related non-governmental organizations and women's and children advocates formed part of a comprehensive consultative process to arrive at the best possible ideas in advancing the construction, operation and service delivery to the nation's youth. I want to thank all, the, all those um, persons from critical stakeholders, finance, um, heads of social agencies, Yard persons like Cherry, raise your voice in Catherine Silas, and I mean the persons from overseas one Zoom, you know, Clementia Eugene. This was this was really a rich group of individuals. The head of an Adventist church was there. They they, they just had a lot of people represented a cross the board to make it a rich thing. Minister Henry says he and the government of St. Lucia remain committed to the transformation of the former George Child Secondary School into a modern and well-staffed National Youth Service Centre that will replace not only the over 60-year-old Boys Training Centre, but will also house institutions like the Upton Garden School Centre and the New Beginnings Transit Home.